Hi teachers, I know several of you are really wanting to connect with your students digitally and holding a digital story time is a great way to do that. Um, I do want to make you aware that uh, we do still have to follow copyright as much as possible, but the good news is that many publishers have um, really loosened their restrictions on copyright. I'm going to share a link with you that gives specific instructions, uh, but basically what most publishers are saying is that it is okay to record yourself reading aloud a book as long as you are making that link private so that um, or unlisted so that it's not put out to the whole world and instead is just shared with your students such as through class dojo or um, in google classroom and you aren't really publicizing it on social media in any way um, they also uh, would like for you to mention the publisher at the beginning of your videos, especially if it's a publisher that has given permission. And they would also like for you to delete the videos uh, once all of this is over. Um, so if you want to use YouTube to do that, you can do it pretty easily. Um, once you've logged into YouTube, you go up to the create a video when you click on it, it says upload a video or go live. So you can do this right from your computer by clicking going live. Once you click go live, it's going to take you into YouTube studio and you're going to see these three different buttons that are up at the top. You want to use webcam and the most important one, you're of course going to do whatever your story time is called. I'm just going to call this one story time practice. Um, but the one of the most important things is right here. So instead of clicking public, you're going to go to unlisted. I would I would not do um, private either. Go to unlisted and you can schedule it for later or you can do it right now, which most of you will probably be doing it right now. You do have to click. Yes, it's made for kids. That's a new requirement. Um, and then you click next. Once you click next, it asks you to take a thumbnail. And then you click go live. It'll tell you that you're going live and then and then you're live. So then you can start talking to your students. The trickiest part is that your webcam is down here in the corner of your screen, which is the most annoying thing ever. But you do have to, if you want to make eye contact, you've got to kind of look down. Um, at the bottom corner of your screen instead of looking at yourself on your screen because then you don't really look like you're looking at your students. Um, so once you have said everything you need to say, uh, then you click end stream and end. And you can do editing if you would love to do that, um, but you pretty much don't want to do that because it's going to take too much of your time. So you move on to the next screen. And then here is the, I guess, probably what is the trickiest part is that now that your video has disappeared, you need to be able to get the link. And the link, if you click over on events, it will take you to your page of events and you want to go to completed. So now you can see your story time practice is right here. And then this link up here is the link that you would share with families. And again, not it's not going to show up on your YouTube channel for anybody who just goes to your YouTube channel. It's only going to show up for the people that have this specific link. 